Howdy, Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. Thank you all for watching. I'll take this opportunity to thank all my new subscribers and past subscribers. I finally have reached a stable over 200 subscription, which is really fantastic. I wouldn't have thought I would ever get to 200, considering the style of my, my videos. But anyway, thank you all very much for sticking with me. And what are we doing today? Well, it's Sunday today. It's a lovely, sunny, shiny day. And I feel like something classic. And the other day, I was watching a YouTube video by uh, The Lathering. I think it's Rui, Rui. And he was shaving with DR Harris soap. I said, well, I haven't shaved with DR Harris soap for a long time. So today we're shaving with DR Harris Windsor. A classic scent. This is, uh, I don't have any other, this is the only soap I have from DR Harris. But the scent is lovely. It's light, masculine, beautiful. It's got citrus, vetiver, leather, and black pepper. Couldn't ask for anything more for a classic scent. So, it comes in a, I've just bought the refill puck, but you can also get it in the wooden um, uh, containers. And you can see the ingredients on the bottom, but I'll, I'll post up the ingredients uh, just here. It's actually the old formula. Uh, the new formula actually starts with the tallow or the tallow. This is the older one, but there's not a lot of difference in performance between this one and the new one. Now, as you know, I, uh, I'm a bowl leatherer, so I don't load off the puck. What I do is I slice off a small piece of soap. This is just one gram of soap, and I squash that in the bottom of my lathering bowl. And that's what I use to build my lather with. And the brush we're using for that is the Razor Rock 400 with the butterscotch handle and the black plissom knot, which is quite soft. So even though I'm using hard soap, I've got a soft knot. And it won't have any problem. So I'll just put that in the soaker, in my super soaker. And what else are we using? The razor, we're still going with the same razor this week. All week we've been using this razor, which is the, um, the Yaki Rasta SE with the uh, AC blade in it. Uh, and I've got the, oh, what's it called? Uh, Feather Pro Guard Blade. It's on its third use now, so I've only had three shaves this week. <laughs> As if I'm using it every day. No, I'm not. I only have shave every second day, so that's what we're using. So without further ado, we'll go across to the uh, the overhead camera and produce the leather. Well, we're all ready to go here. As you can see, I've got a got that one gram of Soap sample pressed, oh, sorry, pressed into the bottom of the bowl. And I've, the bowl is the Yaki um, porcelain uh, duke. I think it's sort of a bluish green color. So I'll just get my brush, give it a squeeze and a shake. Start. Making a paste. This may take a little bit longer than a soft soap. But I'm patient. You can just skip forward if you don't want to see 
the production of the lover. I also have um, chapter links in my video so you can just skip to any section you like. I don't leave anything out of my show videos other than probably the, um, the pre shave application. Gathering up nicely there. Let's get some uh, tube of water, a syringe. Sorry. As you can see, I start with 20 mil, and normally 20 mil is what I need for this. I've written down on the bottom how much. <laughs> I like for an optimum lather and that's one gram, 20 mil. It could be plus or minus a little bit, but uh, generally that's pretty good for me. And we start adding slowly. This is my normal practice. I see some shavers like to add a big amount of water at the start and then build up the leather. I think that's close to what they call a Marco method if you just put the whole 20 mil in. And I like to just add it slowly. You can see there's still a little bit of soap in the bottom. That's why I like adding slowly. It just incorporates the uh, the whole amount of soap into the leather, making it rich and creamy. As you can see, it's already pretty nice. Harris is a great soap. A great triple mill soap, very traditional, with a tallow. I do prefer my triple mills with the tallow within it. I reckon you get a, a richer lather. And a better feel on the face after the shave. But that, that's just me. And I do have both. I have vegetal and tallow based uh, triple mills. And with a huge <laughs> collection of soap collection, I have. Uh, I think I have about 150 soaps still, despite giving a few away. So it takes a while to get through those. You can get through each brand, you know, sharing the brand around. Now that soap is only all gathered up now. As you can see, I've got a nice volume I don't think there's any soap left. I don't see any soap left now. And look at that beautiful lather. Now this soap likes a bit of water, so we're gonna put the whole 20 mil in. Incorporate that last bit of water. And I should have what I consider the perfect lather. Just the soft peaks. Yes, it's looking really good. So I'm just stir that last bit of water in. Get some 
and then there's bubbles out. Ah, oh, it's lovely. I don't worry about those bubbles there. They'll go away when I add it to the face. Okay, that's my leather. We'll move to the, back to the other camera. All right, finished that leather. It's a beauty. Now I've already put the pre-shave on, so I just got to re-wet it. I do that just before I start um, making the leather. So it's been on my face for about. Uh, Six, seven minutes. And I've got a lovely leather. Beautiful. Just the way I like it. Soft, peaky leather. I've actually got a bit too much on the brush. Lovely scent coming off this leather. Not strong, but this is a, this one's not too bad. Uh, I'd give it a five or six out of ten on scent strength. I've heard most of them are quite light. As you can see, a really well hydrated the soap. This leather, sorry. And it's going everywhere. Okay, I'm happy with that. As per usual, I've got leather everywhere. <laughs> it's even down my shirt. You can, hey, look at that. <laughs> I don't worry about it. This is a real shave. This is what, what I get. So, Yaki Rasta, here we go. First pass. Third use on the blade. It's a Pro Guard, Feather Pro Guard blade. I'm getting good shaves this week. And whether you can hear the feedback, getting a nice feedback. I've got about two days growth. My stomach's rumbling a bit, sorry about that. Beautiful first pass. Now I just gather up all the bits that are flying around everywhere, put that on as a Pre shave for the second pass. Now I won't add any water. To the face because this leather is quite a bit well hydrated. I don't think it needs any water. Any extra anyway. So, one little fresh centre, you know, with the citrus. You get that 
leathery, vitamous scent and oh, it's nice. It really reminds me of um, my father for some reason. Don't know why. He wouldn't have used this soap. He was more of a old spice person. As with many shavers in the worker class families, at least here in Australia. Right, what happened on this day? Oh, we're going scientific today. 1608, Johannes Lipsky demonstrated a new invention, the first optical refracting telescope. He demonstrated a prototype uh, And what happened? Uh, yeah, Lipsky, Lipsky was a lens grinder who furnished um, lenses for spectacles. And one of his apprentices discovered that if you put a short refracting lens in front of a long refracting lens, uh, things look closer. So he took this idea and put the lenses at either end of a tube and made the telescope. He patented the idea And he also sold it to the, the Dutch government for, for military use. What else? All right, one more pass. Oh, look, it's still lovely leather, very stable. Oh, it's lovely. Alright, what else happened uh, with the telescope? Well, Galileo heard about this new telescope, this new invention. He made a similar arrangement and used it to study the heavens, of course. It was named a telescope by a guest at an outdoor banquet in, uh, in 1611, honoring Galileo, where he demonstrated it to the assembly. All right, final pass. I'll take the glasses off, get underneath.
What else happened in on this day? Something else scientific. 1956. The first atomic clock was unveiled at the Overseas Press Club in New York. It was called the Atomic Chrome. slickness from the sub, it's still smooth and slick on the skin. I don't find uh, the soap too any too expensive. Um, if you consider 100 grams it's gonna last you 100 shaves. It's pretty good value. Probably more than 100 shares because I'm very generous with my loads. You could probably even get away with half a gram. Well, that feels nice. Well, I'm enjoying this so much, I'm going to just do a fourth pass <laughs> instead of a doing because I've got heaps of lather left. Instead of doing touch-ups, I'll just do a full pass. So how did the Omicron work? Well, it's based on the frequency of oscillations of the cesium atom. To get the accuracy. It was quite big, it measured uh, uh, 84 inches high, 22 inches wide and 18 inches deep. Just doing, I'm going over pretty lightly. This is a light razor, it's only 44 grams, I think I measured it as. That's worth a blade in it. And the, uh, the ProGuard blades are one of the mildest blades you can get. They have a protective um, band, uh, similar to what you would see. Has anybody seen the Chic uh, Quadro? Where they have wires over the blades to protect, protect your uh, skin. It's a little bit like that. So getting feedback if you can hear it.
Well, that was a wonderful shave. Wonderful, wonderful. Great feeling on the skin from that soap. When I wipe my hands around, lovely slick feel, smooth. All right. Unfortunately, I'm going to rinse some off because <laughs> I still smell that lovely scent coming off. I'd like to get some more of this Harris soap. I hope we enjoy it. What do you call it? Um, a commercial artisan, I would call it. Because you can basically get it just about anywhere around the world. It's even available here in Australia. Numerous shop, many shaving shops here have it.
Another scent that reminds me of my father. All right. Thank you for watching. That's my shave of the day. And we'll catch you on my next one. Cheers.